evening and thank you for joining us at the close of the day here at Beautiful Savior. As we gather today for a time of evening prayer, we gather for a series called Compline. Compline is a series that people have gathered in over the decades to gather before they go to bed, to hear the words that we all need to hear as our minds are weary with all of the troubles of the day, to let them go, to give them all over to God. Compline is a short and direct service that focuses on prayer, reflection, and God's promise of forgiveness. There's no sermons, there's no homilies, there's no music. Instead, it's hearing those promises. We have a time of confession where we hear those words that God forgives you for whatever we are worried with for the day. We reflect in prayer as we lift up to God all of our troubles, knowing that he guards us this night. At this time, I ask that you prepare yourself as we prepare for this evening prayer. The Lord Almighty, grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us then turn to God and confess our sins to God and to one another. We confess together. Almighty God, God, our Heavenly Father, Father, we have have sinned sinned against against you through our own fault, fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what what we we have left undone. undone. For For the the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life. To the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness for all of our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory Glory to to the the Father Father, and and to to the the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm chapter 4. Answer me when I call to you, righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you people turn my glory into shame? How long will you love delusions? Seek false gods. Know that the Lord has set apart his faithful servant for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Tremble and do not sin. When you are on your beds, search your hearts and be silent. Offer the sacrifices of the righteous and trust the Lord. Many, Lord, are asking, who will bring us prosperity? Let the light of your face shine on us. Fill my heart with joy when their grain and new wine abound. In peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell. Glory to the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and and will be forever. forever. Amen. 2 Corinthians Chapter 4, starting with 5. For what we preach is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, and ourselves as your servant for Jesus' sake. For God, who said, Let light shine out of darkness, make his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. Thanks be be to God. At this time, let us join together and turn to God, lifting up our prayers. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed, 
O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wing. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us turn to God in prayer. Be our light, O Lord, in both this darkness as the sun has set, and the darkness that we see all around us. You have sent your Lord, you have sent Jesus our Lord, to show your great mercy. We'd ask that you would defend us from our peril, guide us from all danger, and lead us through this night into your everlasting light. We know that this is true, Lord, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Be present, O God. Protect us in this hour of darkness, so that all who are weary by this change of light may not feel danger and threatened, but instead will see your everlasting unchangelessness. Look down, O God. Be down and be present among us from your heavenly throne. Illuminate us as we come to this night with your holy brightness. Let the night be as day for your people, that we can walk as Christians knowing that you are with us whenever we are in need. And hear us, Lord, as we lift up to you our petitions, those things that are burdening us and wearing us down, so that we can rest in your peace, knowing that you are the one in control. Hear us as we lift up our petitions now. In all of these things, not our will, but yours be done, O Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. We pray together. Guide us walking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us walking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. As we come to a close this evening, let us turn to God. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. Good evening and God's peace.